Hello everybody, my name is Manuela and I am an artist in residence at the Lavigne Cancer Institute here in Charlotte where I am leading therapeutic art classes to patient, caregivers and staff. Today I welcome you in my kitchen and no, it's not because I wanted to show you how to make lasagna or gnocchi, but it's because I wanted to show you how to make uh, this little decoration that are on this uh, tray um, and they are made with flour, salt and water which I think uh, are uh, ingredients and elements that everybody has handy in their house. So here we go. This is what you need for this dough. You need a cup of flour, half cup of uh, fine salt, and a half cup of water. We will start to put the dry ingredient in a larger bowl. That is the salt, and I mix this one together. Now, the water can be the tricky part of this because you need, it's better if you need this one little by little and not all together because it is easy to add water if you need it, but take out the water of the dough, that's not so easy. So here we go. I put water here and I start to mix, as I said, little by little. This uh, is an activity, if you have kids home, something that, you, that can, you can really do with them. Actually, they will have a lot of fun, especially in this messy part. And then they can spend hours to make anything they want. Their creativity sometimes is much higher than our creativity. And for you, this is something that is very relaxing. After you have done the dough, you can sit down and create your uh, little object, which they will make your home even prettier. So here we go. I, this one is start to come along. So I have a, just a little bit of water in this cup, see? So I don't want it to add this one now. And I keep working this and see yeah it's coming along with a little bit of muscle but gym are closed so here we go we have our exercise this morning almost done and i think just a little bit more maybe i don't here we go now that the Messy part is almost over. I put this one aside. I take my dough and I keep doing this one on my table. So the dough, the characteristic of the dough is that it doesn't need to be sticky or crumbling. It needs to be something that is, see, this is something that I, we don't want to see it, but we are keep working this one and hopefully at the end we will have something that we can use. This dough can be used even the next day. The only thing you need is a really seal uh, this one in uh, with the saran wrap very well and leave it alone and you can use it even the day after or two days, no longer than that, then it will become to be difficult to work. See how soft, no sticky, kind of a elastic. This is what you wanna see. Hmm? And the dough is done. Now I take a piece of my saran wrap And I put the dough on top of this covering. To work, I use a little bit of parchment paper. And this is uh, where I will make my little sculpture and then I will uh, transfer the sculpture on the tray and let it dry for uh, days. But we can talk about the drying um, process later. I wanted just to show you just a little thing. So I'm pretty sure that all of you has um, 
in their house. Some cookie cutter. So you can use your cookie cutter and is a, I have a, a heart here. And I push, then I take the back of my brush and I make a hole here. So it will be easy after it's dry to put a ribbon and hang this. Remove the outside part. And here we go, we have our base for to decorate. Now I'm working with a toothpick and I just make a little incision here to embellish our heart. As I said, you don't need to be precise. This is something that needs to relax you. And then um, after I've done this one, I can make little punch like this, all around. Here we go. So now the decoration. I will do something very simple here because I don't want it to keep you too long watching this video. And so I will make just a little lid so I take a little bit of uh, the dough. I shape a leaf. Then I take a knife, and I like this knife because the blade is um, very smooth. There is no teeth or something like that. So take my knife and make incision. That remind me that this is a leaf. Here we go. So then I need a little bit of water, just a little bit of water and a little brush. And I wet a little bit the surface, take my lid, put the lid on top, using the toothpick. And here we go, just a little pressure. So now we make another one, little ball of dough. Keep working with your finger. Don't be, don't squeeze too much. Be gentle. Shape another leaf. And actually, you can make the leaf the shape that you want. But this is how I made it. I wanted to show you, so you have an idea. So, knife, little incision again, little incision again, and here we go. Little bit of water. Put another leaf here, take my toothpick, make a little pressure. Now we have the last leaf. Remember the odd number is always better than two or four. This is something that I keep in mind even when I'm painting, always put odd number of object in my painting. Here we go. Again, just a little bit of water. Take leave, I try to make kind of a different shape. Actually doing like this. And here we go. Now we need the center of this heart. I can make a rose or I could make a, um, a little apple. At this moment, I will make a little apple because the rose is uh, longer to make. So I make a bowl. I always make sure that there are no crack in the bowl. See how smooth it is. Here we go. See, and then you see, I realize that this one is too big. So I take a little bit uh, out. That's a much better size. Take a little brush, water. I just put this on like this and then I use uh, some cloth, cloves. Mmm, the smell is so good. Take one of this one. I don't want it to have this one just um, so um, upright, but I put a kind of a side, go inside, squeeze, 
and I have my little apple. So here we go. We have this little heart made by flour, salt, and water. I am sure that if you start to do something like this, you will never stop. It's so fun and relaxing, and look what you can do in really no time. So ladies, I hope that this video can help you just to understand how you can start. And I'm pretty sure we will see in the future because I have uh, little secrets that I can share with you, like uh, how I can put color on this one. Can I mix color with the dough and see what is coming up? So if you like it, uh, let me know. And uh, if you wanted to contact me, you know how to do it. Ladies, see you soon, have fun, love you. Uh, you are not alone in this uh, terrible time. You have been remembered. I'm thinking about you every day and I hope everybody is well. Make some art. Ciao, ciao, ciao.